Uh, hey everyone, I'm John Peter Lewis and welcome to the American Nobody Show. we got a great show for you uh, today. Um, we have Sky Elobar as a guest. Sky Elobar, everybody. And this is a show that's going to follow closely uh, American Idol Season 8. Uh, I can't believe it's been so many seasons already. we like to highlight our fan picture right here. <laughs> this is Robin. Say, everyone say hello to Robin. Hello, Robin. Um, number one fan. Calls all the time. We love her to death. Sent me a Christmas card. It's very nice of you, Robin. You know, when I watch American Idol, there's a lot, I wear a lot of different hats. I'm wearing this hat of... You know, I am a, uh, a former contestant from the show, and then I also wear the hat of as a viewer and also as a musician. You know, I mean, and there are a lot of, you know, I have a lot of thoughts that go through my head um, about American Idol because of that. As a viewer, I love the show. Uh, it's entertaining. It's good. It's fun to watch. But, uh, you know, as a former finalist, I mean, I have a lot of, an incredible amount of empathy uh, for these, you know, contestants. Just, you know, I mean, it's it's a really, it's a very difficult process. It's a stressful process, an unnecessarily stressful process. I mean, and it's a great opportunity, don't get me wrong, but, um, you know, when you get that golden ticket to Hollywood, your problems are far from over. Uh, like I said earlier, we have a great guest, uh, Sky Labar is with us. Hi, how's it going? Just doing it. Check out my new resume, dude. Check out my new resume. What do you guys think? <laughs> Check out my resume, dude. Well, hold on, I'm looking at your picture. Oh. Yeah, what do you think of that? Is it true? Yeah, it's all true. <laughs> Carnegie Mellon School of Drama. Give me that. You didn't go. Yes, I did. You didn't go to Carnegie Mellon. Yes, I did. You did. For, for acting, though? I took a course. Doesn't mean I graduated, but I took a course, you know. Sky Labar, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, is this is the camera on? The cameras are on. Yeah. If you're if you're a casting agency out there and you want to like put him in your commercial, um, this is the guy. Thanks, man. Thanks, Sky, for coming on the show. Appreciate it. I'm psyched, man. <laughs> it's the it's the pilot, right? Yes. I'm on the pilot. You're on the pilot. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. So now you're a songwriter. How do you feel about American Idol as a musical? Entity. The thing that bothers me about American Idol is it's like a company going and mass producing a product quickly and getting it out there to sell it quickly and then it having a shelf life of about, you know, whatever and boom, next thing. It just not, doesn't have anything to do with artistry, music, performing right. at all. The only guy that I really thought was like, had any talent was Clay Aiken. Yeah, I bet. Do you talk with him still? Because I know you were close with him. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> anyway. With just watching the show, do you do you like it? Is it like a TV show? I mean, do, you, do you enjoy it? Do you, do you like the audition episodes at all? No, I hate that. Really? I think it humiliates people. Yeah. And I think they could do that a lot simpler. But I'm not... How in, would you do it? I wouldn't humiliate them. I'd just say, hey, you want to be on the show? Send us a tape. I, I wonder, do, would it have... Would American Idol have the same... Uh, would it have the, the same like draw without the audition process? I'm talking about it being different. <laughs> it. But I mean, it's such a huge, phenomenal success, and people gravitate. Oh, you I'm know, not doubting. I'm not people gravitate towards American Idol because people are of the bored auditions. out of their minds. It, just because it works and just because it's successful doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> That's true. Okay. But I'm saying, yeah. if you're asking me, I'd like to turn on the TV and see somebody who can write a freaking song, sing it, and perform, and do the whole, get all the boxes checked. None of these people perform. Yeah. Like, perform. Yeah. Like, you think you went out and saw, you know, Kiss, yeah. or, or a Queen, yeah. or, you know, Michael Jackson, or Prince, or any, those people are performers, man. Yeah. The, you know, they change your life. This American Idol thing, I mean, they should come up with people. The winner should be somebody who goes out and, like, really electrifies people and changes music. Yeah. You see a lot a lot of people now who are on the show who have had record deals in the past. I mean, you know, any thoughts on that? I mean, what do you feel? Is that yeah, I don't, think it's a, I don't think it's a contest that's fair anymore. Yeah. A guy like Mike Lee, who's had three record deals, I think. I don't know. He's had a lot of deals. Yeah. 
He's, he's 28, 29 years old. He comes on, he's competing against a 17-year-old kid who's never even wiped his ass or wiped his, you know, yeah. by himself. Yeah. I don't think that's fair. So now, now you've had some connection to like, uh, to like former, like other former contestants like Michael Jones. I played in his band for about six months. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. And then he got dropped from the label and had some problems, you know. He was more of a rock star. He was like a like a Jim Morrison. He was on the Osborne show, and, and Sharon Osborne was like, "Oh my God, you're sexy," you know. He's yeah. like, he's a, was a rock god before, and he comes on American Idol, and he completely waters down his thing yeah. to try to get a prize. It's interesting to watch like the sacrifices that people are going to go to, like the lengths people will go to in order to win, yeah. you know, and like what they're willing to do in order to win. You were on there. Yeah. Well, Didn't you have that run, like, going well, through I your mean, veins, I, I, I want to win this thing, I, I will. Yeah. I mean, I was always constantly keeping a tally in my brain of, okay, well, this happened, so, you know, I, I'm still okay here, you know, I'm still in the clear because, you know, I mean, this person was not very strong today, and so, you know, I mean, your brain is always, right. like, moving, like, calculating, you know, of, of, like, you know, okay, you know, what am I doing here? But if you want to have a long career after that, I think, um, you know, not even winning will will give you that that top that that yeah, title. Yeah, you got to grow some cojones. I guess well, let's go. Let's break it down here. The the common de the lowest common denominator of this conversation is we really don't like contests when it comes to art. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks, uh, man. Yeah, it was Appreciate really it. really a pleasure to have you here. And I'm John Peter Lewis with the and you're watching the American Nobody Show. We'll see you next time.